So hey guys, welcome back to your own University TV. We are having a Monday night. We decided to go on a hike. And I didn't think I was gonna make it up because I've been sitting and really tired. I didn't wanna even go. But I knew that I needed nature. Nature always makes me just a better human, better connected to myself. And today we're gonna to continue our leadership series and talk about passion and commitment. Join us at your own university. Like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. You're not going to want to miss a bit of this. And here's a view of Alaska. Okay, so we're in video three. The next part in this is really about having passion for what you're wanting to lead and be a leader in like a pull from the universe that is calling you into this passion as you learn how to do whatever you're feeling called to do or be whoever you are being called to be, to lead in your own life and to lead in the world. You literally have this like pull inside of you that allows you to do things in a committed way that is not like anything else in your life. Um, I felt this personally about my book, All In, and the Yoga Sutras in the Bible. It was like I didn't have a, a choice. It was just something that I absolutely positively had to do, right? And it took 10 years and opportunities to come in and out of it like weaved and, and I got picketed. Um, I, the church got upset with me. I was questioned, I was ridiculed, I was cheered on, I was supported, I was loved. I mean, the whole process was an entire growing experience and I bet you've had something in your life that's, that's the same thing. You just have this, it's, it's kind of unreasonable. You don't really know why you're doing it, but you have this calling in your heart to do it. You have this passion to do it. And it might be a little like a, a hobby that you're into, something that you decide that you wanna see. Um, Bear and I were talking, when was it, yesterday? And, and we were talking about how you find something in a magazine, right, what'd you say? You find something in a magazine and then all of a sudden you're like, researching everything about it and you want to know exactly like the best kind and and what to do and you you develop a passion for it and you develop a commitment to really seeking out the answer right so you might be um having an issue in your life something presents itself in your own university maybe it's an illness maybe it's a, a belief system that you're coming up against maybe it is a new awareness a new relationship um, a new job maybe all of the above all at one time and you're like seeking out those answers. It's taking up your time, it's taking up your time, your passion, your commitment to, to seek out those answers, to seek out how to make it the best, how to be the best, how to step into your next evolution as, as a human. And that's how you lead your own life. How you lead others is you find that thing, that, that big passion, that big problem, or that big blessing, or that big gift creation in your own life and you say you say yes to it and there's many steps along the way I mean I'm I'm doing something right now that makes absolute sense in my life I'm totally excited about it but I wouldn't have been led there if it wasn't for other opportunities opening itself up to me I would have been counseling adults forever and now I'm going to be working with teens and it's so fun to be able to expand our horizons and our passions, right? We never know what's gonna show up. So it takes a commitment for you to step into those uncomfortable learning experiences, those where you feel like you're the bottom of the totem pole again. And you're like, I don't know how to do this and what to do and be willing to learn in your life. And at the same time, be committed to that final destiny, that final goal, that final um, vision that your passion that your heart that your soul is calling you to step into and when you find that sweet spot then you can lead you can lead in business you can lead in in life you can lead in 
in your children, you can lead in your families, you can lead in your churches, you can lead, period, when it comes to that passion. So my tips today in developing passion is to sit down, to meditate, to listen to your heart, to ask yourself when you were a kid, like what would you want to do? Like if you could have done anything, what would you want it to do? And also look at your life experiences. This is also part of a talk that I did. And, and you look at your life experiences and you say, well, you know, where, what has life taught me? What are the themes of my own life? What, what big lessons has life taught me over and over again that I've proceeded to get better and better at solving it, coping with it, living with? And how can I pass it on to the next generation? How can I pass it on to my friends and my family? How can I share those lessons with the world? And that's part of being a part of your own university. It's really being able to look at your own life and what has presented itself and say, oh, there's a theme and this is a theme and that's a theme. And then look at your talents, right? Where are you talented? Because we're committed to places that we're usually talented at, right? Like I've been singing for years and years and years, right? I know tons of musicians that are still strumming a guitar every now and again or playing the piano every now and again. And like, you know, like when when you have a gift in something, it comes naturally to you. You feel blessed by it, right? You tend to stick with it. Oh, and it tends to be painful if you don't, right? I know artists that draw all the time I know writers that write all the time and they're not you know they have day jobs too and they have families right but we tend to be committed to those things that we hold passion to so follow those passions in your life too. ask yourself like where have you just been passionate where have you been gifted and learning where have you been committed in your life and map those things out for yourself discover who you are at your own university and then create that into your vision Right? believe in your vision and the last thing that we're really talking about tonight is is this form of belief so to be committed to something to lead in that field you really have to believe in it it's like a great salesman right you have to believe in your product so do you believe in yourself this is the hardest and biggest most challenging question for for me and for many people I think is like how do we believe in ourselves when we've messed up over here or we're not quite sure of the vision or it hasn't totally presented itself or we don't have you know this or that or the other like how do we truly truly just believe in ourselves and believe in that passion in our hearts and step into it boldly even if we have to you know commit through those hard times and the times of questioning and doubt and frustration and relearning I hope that you got a lot from this video today. Thank you so much for being a part of your own university. It is getting cold, the sun is going down, and we are going to enjoy this beautiful sunset. Mwah. It kind of sees it. It's purple. So the sun just went down. You can't see that it went down, but there you can. We got it all on tape. Maybe he'll let me put it on the end of it. But this side is purple. Thanks for sharing this, guys.